everybody. Welcome to Rachel's Reviews. And this is the series that we do every week where we are talking best and worst to one of our favorite talented actors, actresses, other people involved in films. And today we are talking about Nicole Kidman. She's an Oscar winner. She's Moulin Rouge. She has lots of people's favorites, Big Little Lies. Uh, She has some great, great shows and films in her filmography. And so we're just going to be talking about our best and worst of Nicole Kidman. And I'm film critic Rachel Wagner. And Ryan is here. Hey, Rachel. So great to be back with you once again for this best and worst series. And and when it comes to Nicole Kidman, I was she's one of those actresses that I wasn't super duper familiar about. But then scrolling through her IMDb, I'm like, oh, okay, I've seen a lot of these. And, yeah. and it turned out I was thinking this was going to be hard. My picks were actually quite slam dunks. Mm-hmm. And she's done a couple musicals. She just did The Prom recently. Uh, she did Moulin Rouge famously. And so she can pull that off. She's also done comic book movies. She's done uh, indie films like uh, The Beguiled or, uh, you know, she won her Oscar for the hours and which i've never seen uh and she she, she's just done a little bit of everything this is one of those talents kind of like hugh jackman uh who can kind of do it all yeah i agree Mm -hmm. well so my best of nicole kidman is a movie called the others and in this movie they do such a good job of creating a sense of place and there in an atmosphere you just feel the tension you feel how alone she is and uh, i think it's one an example of a movie where the twist really paid off and it worked which i'm usually not that much of a twist person but she does such a good job of making you feel for her character and making you worried about her character what's going to happen it's such a beautifully made movie and i think her performance is really key in making it work yeah i remember you uh, brought up brought this movie up as one of your picks for an hbo max episode mm-hmm. either our first or second yeah and i mean it's almost exclusively her and then uh, there's a housekeeper and then two uh two kid her two kids and then a couple scenes in flashback but she's in every scene of the movie so she's very essential to making it work yeah if if there was anyone who could make something like the others work it would have to be nicole kidman like she Mm -hmm. she would definitely make the woman in black movies better right what is your best of nicole kidman So my best of Nicole Kidman is a fairly recent one, and it is uh, the first Paddington movie. I never saw this in the theaters because literally everyone is like, you got to see Paddington, you got to see Paddington. I'm so like, you know what? I'm not going to see it because I'm I'm a rebel. And I just, you know, I was just like, oh, it's for kids. It's not going to be good. Then I saw it on HBO in preparation for Paddington 2. And I realized what an idiot I was because this movie is so good and it's just it's just nice it's really really nice it's it the cast in the movie's great Hugh Bonneville who I believe is from Downton Abbey if my memory serves me right he's Mm -hmm. really good in there Ben Wishaw he's great as the voice of Paddington but Nicole Kidman is where is where this movie shines like in any other movie she would just be like this super over the top like mustache twirling like i'm going to sue paddington into a taxidermy i'm like whoa like what are what movie am i watching here but she's fun enough to where you you, you buy into it all at the same time and i i was wrong about these movies because at first i was like oh i really have to sit through that but the more i thought about it the more i have enjoyed them yeah so good i really think they're just about perfect films paddington and paddington 2 uh they are so funny so sweet just wonderful yeah and in the case of the first one nicole kidman was one of the highlights and in the second one hugh grant was the highlight so there's something about paddington movies and villains that is just like it's just Mm -hmm. it's really good stuff i can't wait for paddington 3 they're gonna get kate blanchett and it's just going to be just a super good time i'm a little nervous because i think they're lose the director is leaving i don't think it's the same director but 
but yeah, but hopefully they can keep the spirit of it alive because yeah, it's, it's a great, it's an incredible series. I mean, like I said, just about two almost perfect films. So let's talk about least favorite. And we ended up both with the same least favorite of Nicole Kidman. And uh, we are going to be talking about Batman forever. <laughs> it's our least I, favorite. I, I want to preface this by saying that I don't hate Jill Schumacher, especially since his passing. I think that he has done a lot of uh, a lot of good movies, you know, like Phone Booth and Eight Millimeter and Falling Down and The Lost mm-hmm. Boys and among others. But I'm sorry, his Batman movies were just kind of. Uh, and, yeah, and, and, well, and I for- would say that, sorry, I, I would say that not only is this not a great movie, but I think her performance is not good in this movie. Her character isn't written very well, but uh, she, you know, she plays the psychiatrist. Her name is Dr. Chase Meridian, and the and yeah. I'm, convinced, I'm convinced her entire name was just for Jim Carrey to create a punchline for it when she's like, "I'm Dr. Chase Meridian," and he's like, "And what a grand pursuit you must be!" And I'm like, "Do you get it? Because her name is Chase." You right. should be laughing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's sort of a love interest for Bruce Wayne, but then not really very well. They don't have any chemistry at all. And I don't know, her character is not very good in this. And uh, the movie's helped a little bit by by Jim Carrey's performance and uh, the Riddler. And it has some fun uh, production design involved, but uh, and good music but uh it's it can't save it and uh, i think her her portrayal of this character and then tom lee jones is really bad in it too i think it's two face so yeah so there we go that is our best and worst of nicole kidman let us know what your picks would be and what you think of our picks we'd love to hear in the comment section or on twitter that would be great and ryan where can people find you uh, they can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at RyanCam20. Then there's, of course, my YouTube channel, which is just called Ryan Cam. Uh, this past uh, Sunday, I released my video where I talked about re-watching all of the Michael Bay Transformers movies, and I lost some brain cells in the process of making that movie. But it was super fun to make and to edit, so definitely check that out. Also, yesterday, which is a Monday, we're recording this on a Tuesday, I released my AFI project video for Jaws. And then this coming Wednesday, the 13th, I will be releasing my AFI project video for Rocky. So check that out. And then this coming Sunday, the 17th, I'll be releasing the second installment of I of my I Finally Saw, or I Finally Watched, I can get my names right, the series, uh, where I talk about Studio Ghibli's very first movie, uh, castle in the sky so go check that out if you have yeah you all should subscribe it's really good stuff and uh, very interesting to to listen to your review of jaws and uh, excited to hear what you have to say about rocky so that should be a lot of fun and you can find me at rachel's reviews all of our social media itunes youtube and on Rotten tomatoes including upcoming coverage of the Nets film festival going to be having lots of fun stuff over there so make sure you check out bring you the clap because oh you got into Sundance. Oh, thank you. (laughs) Yeah, this will be my fifth year covering the Sundance Film Festival. And so it's a different year this year, virtual, but still a lot of fun. So check that out. And, uh, and you can also follow me over at the Hallmarkies podcast. So that's lots of good stuff going on over there. And so check it out and uh, let us know your thoughts down in the comments. And thanks so much. We'll talk to you all later. Bye everyone. Bye.